All right, today we're going to work on Excel and uh, we're going to be working on uh, Specimen Paper 2007. All right, so let's look at question number one. Using a suitable software package, load the file trees.csv. Okay, so uh, open the folder and we shall load the file using Microsoft Excel, of course. Now, um, before doing anything, please save the file as Excel workbook because if you save it as CSV, you're going to lose all your functions uh, and all your formatting. All right, so go to file, save as. Uh, I'm going to save it on your desktop, but for you guys, please save it in your student drive, right? So select Excel workbook, right, and save. Right, so let's look at question number two. In the species column, use the lookup function to show the full species name. Uh, use the code column for the lookup value and the file code.csv for the array. Now for this, we're going to use uh, the function called vlookup. All right, so basically uh, we need to fill in the uh, values here, okay, based on the code given here. And also, uh, the data will come from code.csv. All right, so before we enter the formula, Okay, what we need to do is we need to open the code.csv first. Alright, so as you can see, we'll have uh, two Excel workbooks open here. Okay, let's go back to the first one and um, start typing in the function. Alright, so equals to the lookup. Okay, so it will ask you for uh, four arguments, right? So the first one is the lookup value. This is uh, what you want to find out from the other table. So basically, you want to know what AI means, what AS means, what BE means, what SB means, and so on and so forth, right? So select AI, okay, followed by a comma. Then it will ask you for the table array. So this is where your data will be coming from. So naturally, it will be coming from code.csv, right? So move over to code.csv, select the entire table here, followed by a comma. Now, the next one it will do is it will ask you for a column index number. Okay, this means that it's asking you from which column do you want the data to come from. Now, if you look at the columns here, you have column number one and column number two, right? You already have the data from column number one. Therefore, you need the data from column number two. So, enter number two, followed by another comma. The last one, it will ask you a range lookup. So true, meaning that it is an approximate match, false, it is an exact match. Of course, we want an exact match because we want the code here to match exactly like the code in uh, trees.csv. So we're going to select false and press enter. Okay, so it says um, replicate this formula so that a complete species name for each tree is shown. So what does it mean by replicating? You're just going to use the fill handler to fill in the data. All right, and we're done. Now let's move on to the next question. Uh, enter the following data into the model, acid 1.27, so 1.27, followed by 0 0.928, followed by 1, right? So the next question, question number four, it says, name the cell containing 1.27 acid, right? So what it's going to do is you're going to create a name cell. Okay, so what you need to do is select cell 1.27, all right, in the uh, box here, instead of C2, you're going to click it, and you're going to modify it to acid, okay, followed by the next one, it's called alkaline, and then neutral. Now, if you enter the wrong name cell and you want to make a modification, what you need to do is you need to go to formulas, all right, and go to name manager. Okay, this is where you can delete whatever you um, accidentally named uh, incorrectly, okay, and do it again. Now let's go back to home, and then it says in question number five, Format these three cells to one decimal place, right? So you're going to highlight these three cells, right click, go to format cells. Right, select number, 
and change the decimal place to 